Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look at our dining room slash living room behind me here. So I'll give you a quick look and show you kind of how we make it work because we do homeschool as well. But for our family of seven, and um, keep it simple and keep it as decluttered as possible while still having the things that we need on hand. So here's kind of a quick scan of the space. I will uh, go through everything here. So we do have a whiteboard here. I had our calendar actually on the walls, but we found that this paint just, the sticky tack was taking the paint off. We usually use Benjamin Moore. We had Sherwin Williams this time. I don't recommend it. So we've moved it over here for now. So the walls are pretty clear. We've got our calendar and some things there. Our table is just two really old craft tables that have been attached together. Very old chairs, um, but it, it does what it needs to do for us. There's enough space for us to sit and we do schoolwork here as well. So then we have this kind of alcove area, which is our school area. And I'll link up above a video of our old homeschool room in a previous home. And then I'll try and link as well what it looked like at the beginning of the year because I've been working really hard to minimize and streamline this. And if you homeschool, you know how hard that can be. So we have all of our paper drawers here. We've got like um, cardstock and stickers and tracing paper, all that stuff. I've got a cutting mat, our schedule. I've got two little um, like weather and day stuff here. We've got our giant map, not the most convenient place. They have to use chairs to climb up, but we also have a little globe that we can pull down when we need to to have a look at things. And then we've just got some dictionaries and pens and some paper, office supplies. These are like our curriculum things that we're using right now. We've gone through a whole bunch of our read-alouds, so this is a lot emptier as well. Coloring books and crayons, pens, rulers, pencils, pencil crayons, laminator, hole puncher, coil binder machine. And then I have my children's schooling is all here in these cubbies and bins. And then the art stuff, oh, the art stuff. So we've really condensed down. We have like a general art bin, a perler bead bin. We've got art supplies, things like scissors and pastels. That is Play-Doh, big thing of painting. That's actually our math bin down there and then another um, word spelling game. And that's all that we have here. We do have some homeschool stuff upstairs, which I'll show you that closet another time, but that's things we're not using, so. This is it. We've got a booster seat for a child, two bibs, trash bin. That is our dining room slash homeschool room that I have been working so hard to keep it clear and decluttered and minimal. And I think so far it's working. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of how we keep this space as clear as possible. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. But really quick video because there isn't a whole lot to show, which I think is kind of a win for me. Yes, go me. Okay, hope you're having a great day. Take care.